Hey folks, Robert here with Odd Random Thoughts and today I'm going to show you how to not only clear out your browser history and cache but I'm also going to go over how to clean out the temporary files out of your Windows operating system. So right now we're using Mozilla Firefox. Firefox is my browser of choice. Um, if you have Internet Explorer it can work in a very similar manner. Uh, the things you'll find are, will be under also either the options and tools or a tools menu bar at the top. Um, but this tutorial we're going to be using Firefox. So what we want to do to clear our history and browser cache is to come up here to the menu and click on tools and go down to where it says clear recent history. So click on that and then it's going to bring up this menu here of all the different items you can clear. Now I choose to clear my browsing and download history, cookies, cache, active logins, and my offline website data. Now you can choose to delete your form and search history and your site preferences as well, but I like to keep those because it makes your user experience a little smoother, uh, allows access to certain things on certain websites a little faster especially if you frequent them often so I'm just gonna clear these five items um, so be sure they're checked on the left hand side and then hit the clear now button and that's it now you've cleared all your browser history and cache out of your Firefox web browser so now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do is clean out all the temporary and unused files out of our Windows operating system. So how we're going to do that is you want to go down here to your start menu and click on your start menu button. Now in this search bar I want you to type this. Type the percent sign, the word temp, and another percent sign at the end and then hit enter. Now that's going to open up Windows Explorer and it's going to default to your temporary directory. So what we want to do to delete these files is just click in here somewhere in that window, hold down the control button on your keyboard and hit the letter A. And that is a shortcut for select all. So that's going to select all the items in that directory. Now if you find the delete key on your keyboard just hit the delete key once and it will bring up this little confirmation window are you sure blah 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 yes so let's hit yes and that's going to delete those items now you notice there's still some left and this file in use window popped up it's saying these can't be deleted because they're being used so what we want to do is skip these items because we can't delete them and the computer needs them right now so let's go ahead and skip and there's one more it'll tell you how many we hit skip now this is a folder it's also saying we cannot delete this one so we'll skip it as well and one more document now sometimes some of the folders that may be in this temporary directory are required uh, that they have administrative uh, privileges in order to delete them. So that will pop up a different window and say this folder requires administrative privileges to delete and it'll have a button that says continue. So you would want to click on the continue button to go ahead and delete that folder out. But the rest of them you can just skip. Okay, now that we've done that, over here on the left hand side where it says computer, click on your C drive left click and that's going to bring up your directory tree of all the folders in your C drive. Let's go down to the Windows folder double click on that and then scroll down in this window until you see the folder temp. Double click on that folder and all these files we want to delete as well. So again hold the control key while, and then hit A it will highlight everything hit the delete key and click on yes to delete and those are gone so we have one more step to cleaning out all these temp files if you come back to your C drive 
and right click on it then go to properties from here this is going to open up your local disk properties for your C drive and you'll see there's a little button here called disk cleanup click on that and it's going to populate all these system files that it's going to be able to delete now the first thing you want to do before deleting all these is you'll notice this button here that says clean up system files let's go ahead and click on that and it's going to work to clean up all your system files and it sometimes it takes it just a second to do that but then now that it's finished now we can go back and delete these files so in this window make sure all these boxes on the left are checked and I have a check mark in all of them so then just click OK and then you'll click on delete files to confirm and it will go through the process once again deleting all the files that were listed and then once that is finished deleting everything you may see here that you have a little bit more space than you did have before go ahead and click OK to close out your properties window close out Windows Explorer and you're done so you've we've now gone through we've cleaned out all our browser history and cache we've cleaned out all the temporary files and unused files out of Windows and cleaned up all our system directories so now you can probably recommended you go ahead and reboot your computer at this point um, and then you should notice not a huge significant difference but you should notice a little bit of a difference as far as how fast everything's moving and it'll make your experience that much better so I hope this has been helpful to y'all and this is Robert with Odd Random Thoughts until next time have a good one everyone